Importance of List Building Now most businesses, of course, have some kind of follow-up sequence, but they usually only do it for a few days, maybe a few weeks if they are lucky. It's a need to maintain a consistent follow-up process. If there is no follow-up, it will lead to leaving a ton of money on the table and a ton of customers out in the wind. Essential List Building Guide Number 1. What do you want out of your list? 2. Who are the audience you're going to serve? 3. What are the benefits? 4. What's the curriculum? Number one thing is, what's in it for you? Obviously, you're going to want to have a few results. Otherwise, it's not going to be worth your time and effort. The most obvious answer most people tell at first is they want to sell more of their primary product. What kind of income do you want to generate over the next 90 days and over the next year from the product that you're going to sell? Working backwards from there makes it a little bit easier to know what you're targeting for your list growth. How much time are you spending right now in your business and how much more free time would you like to have? If your company has multiple things you'd like to focus on, how big of a percentage of time does this particular product take up that you're going to be able to reduce because you're having a more leveraged system using your autoresponder system and your broadcast? Then there are some other intangible goals that you might want to think about too, such as, are you trying to boost your credibility? Are you trying to become better known through PR and going on TV or having some speaking engagements happen? Or is one of your primary goals to get more affiliates to help you grow your business? Whatever your goals happen to be, make sure that you answer these before you go forward with the rest of your plan. As you consider what your goals are, Every step you take should be matching these particular goals. Next up to think about is your audience. Who is your ideal customer? People outside that ideal audience will show up as well, but the more passionate you can be about the singular group that you want to help out, the more energized that initial group of customers is going to be. What we want to do is look at some of the demographics and the psychographics of that ideal audience. Be very clear about these. Be as specific as possible with these types of characteristics. How old is your ideal audience member? What gender do they identify with? What's their family background? Do they have kids? Do they not have kids? Are they married? Are they not married? If they have kids, are they kid teenagers, toddlers? Are they adult kids that are out of the home? If they're married or not married, are they divorced or have they been married? Finally, what's their employment status? Do they currently have a job? Are they looking to move up to another level? Are they looking to strike out on their own and start a business? All of these elements of demographics can do a great job of helping you paint a picture of what your ideal audience member is thinking about. What are the benefits and results that your ideal audience members really want to have? Think about it this way. Your goals were all about what's in it for you, right? Then you determined who you're going to serve. Now you want to think about what's in it for them. What's that transformation that they're going to want to have? How can you take them from where they are now to where they want to go? That's what you're going to be able to offer with your products and services, and your email marketing campaign is going to support that. Think about that big benefit that you have with your products and services, as well as the secondary benefits. Curriculum should always be looking towards the level 2 of your products or service. In other words, some kind of gourmet loaf. Even if you only have one product or service right now, you should always be thinking what's going to be that next thing that your customers are going to want from you. You may not know the answer to that question right now, but you should always be thinking about it because if you only have one product or service, you're always going to be chasing new leads instead of serving your ideal audience members in more and more profitable ways.